Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper, the traffic has been extraordinary, but the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. They do appear, Jim Beglin, to be going with a 5-3-2 formation. Conservatism would appear to be at play, Peter. However, we don't quite know what their motives are just yet. It could well be as it looks, but it might also be a way of deceiving the opposition into thinking that they're just going to sit back and then hope to produce an aggressive counter-attack or two. This system can accommodate that. And I certainly hope we're going to get something positive in response, and it's not going to be all defence. You're just joining us, we are already on the way. So who's he picking out? Drives in a towering header! couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. It's a good foot in there. Forward it goes. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Place it over to the other flank. Needed to be better than that, and he knows it with a delicate ball. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal saving. And it's played forward. Defending of the desperate variety. That's one way to annoy his teammates. Tries to get it forward quickly. Finland going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Finland are seeing more of the ball, but still aren't carrying much goal threat. And the counter is on. Hoists it forward. To the right. Lovely bit of skill there. 
That intervention was very necessary. Played back in. And now they can launch a counter. Hit into the middle. Quick ball forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. Balls out on the left now. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. It's got through and... to locate someone up front. And it's played forward. Nicely controlled. intervention and the half-time whistle goes so now the team has broken through but certainly not for the want of trying it's been an interesting game up to now but still goals some first half thoughts yeah the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better at least defensively interesting half just missing goals so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break nil nil we're already back on the way here. Finland playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Chip through. Gets up to hit it! Oh, no, he's got that completely wrong. Plays it out to the flank. Oh, sweet feet. Looking for a decent ball in. Chooses to go back. Breaks on here. Forward it goes. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Mm -hmm. 
Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. Beautifully done. A chance to play it in. Gorgeous control there. Plenty waiting in the middle. Walk forward. What does he try from here? Tries to get it forward quickly. Ball through needs to be good here. Tries to get it forward quickly. Listen, I've experienced that both for and against, and you won't have to guess which one I preferred. Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. Finland take the lead, 1-0. I think the danger for them now is fatigue. I think when the body tires, the mind soon follows. So concentration is key from here. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Crosses into the box. Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. I wouldn't fancy playing up front in these circumstances, to be honest. There's absolutely no supply. Finland are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Gets into a dangerous position. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Gets into some space, pumps it into the area. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. And again. So that's it, it is all over. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. So what do you take away from it all, Jim?